for a survivor, I mean, winning a million dollars would be amazing, but I think what has inspired me more about Survivor is the moments that it gives people whenever they are watching the show. Like seeing David's transformation from season 35 where he was like this meek guy who was scared of sound effects. Dave is just afraid of his own shadow. You know, and now at the end, he made it to near the end and played again and was just so dynamic in his evolution. I think having a big progression like that as a person, as well as being able to be the person that I am on Survivor would mean a lot to me because I'm, I have severe anxiety, I have major depression, and I go through life every day with a lot of issues from my past that comes up. And so I would really want to not only prove it to myself, but show others that I can, just because you have these issues and these mental disabilities that severely limit you daily, I want to be someone that's, that shows you can break out of that mold. My name is Nick White, and I am your next Soul Survivor. My name is Nick, Nicholas White. Uh, I go by Nick, and I'm um, 33, and I live here in Austin, Texas, and I work at a brewery. These hoses are like usually 40 to 50 pounds. It takes a lot of maneuvering, which would also be good in challenges, multitasking. Now it's set up though, and we can make some beer. Anything about Survivor, I'd say I'm a, almost a super fan. I used to watch the game as a kid, and it is one of the biggest things I would like to do in my life, uh, experience something as crazy as Survivor to uh, test myself more than anything. All right, cool. My personality would be more or less akin to, like, if I had to put it in Survivor terms, it would be a blue collar work ethic with a no collar attitude. Sometimes being in the brewery, it's all work. I mean, you can't, you have to focus, you gotta make sure everything is on point. But I mean, other times, you just gotta party. And if I had to pick something else in regards to another tribe, I would say beauty and brains combined into one, but my brawn is not as my focal point. Yes. But I try to stay in that beauty and brawn area. I try to look good and I try to be smart about it. Overall though, I would say that I'm a competitor. Um, as a gamer, I definitely prefer doing more competitive ranked games than like casual play. I like to see my progress. I like to make sure that I'm always learning something new at every experience that I have in regards to just like trying to be the best at something. Oh, that's double baby. At first, I would have to adjust because I'm such a computer nerd, but also to find myself in that aspect, hoping that I stay long enough to do that and compete in competition. Overall, I think I would do pretty good. I think it'd take a little bit of adjusting, but overall, I think I'd be able to get to it and get to the end. It would be very difficult to see how I would play the game because I feel like I'm more of a humble, nice person. The viewers, I think, would love to see that I, as humble as I am, I know I'm a pretty decent looking guy. I, I know how to present myself, but I'm funny. I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I, I flirt a lot. I think I would get in a lot of trouble with girls, especially if there's a redhead. I would like to say that if I had a survivor crush, it would be Victoria from Edge of Extinction or Joe because everyone loves Joe. He's just so dreamy. I'm also a huge fan of Aubrey and Cochran because of how smart they are and intelligence is so sexy. And I don't want to be portrayed as the dummy like other of the, some of the other pretty boys that have been on the show. So I'm hoping that I can break that stereotypical mold if people consider me as a pretty person. It's a nice, nice sentiment right there. <laughs> Overall, I think people would just really relate to me as a person in regards to being the humble, funny guy. Now behold my awesome reverse skills. I am looking. I am looking. Oh god. Never <laughs> mind. I probably should look. The biggest challenge I would have to say about being on Survivor would be learning to control my anxiety 
and my emotions in tough and difficult situations. Um, I think the puzzles, the, the, the pressure of the gameplay, all that stuff would probably be second nature. The aspect of me being a friendly person and being a honest and respectful person and having to lie to people to their face I think would be the hardest, but it's not something I haven't done before. The game of Survivor it has brought a lot of the emotions out of me that I've been holding in for a while. So having that relation to the show and connecting to the show, it, the money would be amazing to have. It would help me with a lot of you know issues in my daily life. But really, for my my ultimate goal would be this whole survivor and building a platform that I can use to help others, especially with mental health issues and their disorders. The winner of Survivor. I think fitting in well with the Survivor universe with the look that I bring to the table, uh, I would try to exit the water as Aquaman-like as I could to give that effect, despite the fact that I don't look like him completely, but Jason Momoa is definitely where I'm used to getting and embodying all the time with this wild, long hair, ombre look. <laughs>